Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to take a look at one of my most anticipated Lego sets of all time. That's going to be the Queer Eye, the Fab Five Loft. This is set number 10291 with 974 pieces. This set retailed for $99.99 USD or $100 and is absolutely fantastic. This is designed by the exact same des designer, Matthew Ashton, who designed the Everyone is Awesome set, and this is the second gayest Lego set I have in my collection. I love absolutely everything that we're getting here, from the Yas Queen poster, to the avocados, to the stove, to the uh, changing room function, to all of the amazing minifigure prints, including a Love is Love t-shirt, and my personal favorite, a brand new Hawaiian t-shirt to use for my sig fig if I ever want to change the skin tone and it's just amazing guys We're gonna take a look at all of those incredibly Amazing detailed minifigures first and then move on to this build of the set and this is gonna be a long video guys Because there's so much to unpack here a quick disclaimer before we get into these minifigures, I do not watch this show, so I have no idea who these characters or who these people are, so I'm just going to be going off what information I can find from the box. So this is Tan, he is the fashion person, I guess, and I love this. First off, this looks exactly like, and I'm going to butcher his name, but Taikido Wakiti, the director of Thor Ragnarok, so it's great to have a sig fig for him. This hairpiece in silver here is Gorgeous. I love the silver coloring there. So nice. We got a really nice exclusive facial print there with some stubble in an, a much harder to find skin tone as well. I love the green jacket design with the black and white button up shirt underneath. And then if you turn him around and remove the hairpiece, he's got a smiling face right here that's kind of not as pronounced, not as much emotion going on, and a really nice back jacket printing. This figure is wonderful, and I really just love the opportunity for customization here. Even if you're not a fan of the set itself, these minifigures have so many unique pieces. Like, I'm pretty sure every single minifigure part, for the, like, for the most part, is, like, almost completely exclusive. So there's so much options here for customization. But I love the Tam minifigure. I, I just, that facial print, I'm buzzing with ideas for how to use that. Here's Jonathan, and apparently his role is grooming. Now, I don't like his shirt here. It's very basic. It's just plain black. But his legs, oh my goodness. It, they're dual-molded. And it's chrome, silver, and black. I don't think we've ever gotten that combination before. He's got a wonderful waist print there with some kind of belt design. And then these really nice striped shorts with black boots on underneath. That's so cool. We also get an exclusive recoloring of the Sally hair piece. And also, might I just add, sir, you have a fantastic mustache. This, if it weren't for the sideburns, would be a great hit, uh, facial print for, I believe, Jack Duquesne from the Hawkeye series. So, I mean... Maybe if Jack grows uh, sideburns at some point, we can use this for him. But I love that my mustache print. Then pulling off the hairpiece. There we go. You can see he's got a much happier expression here with his mouth open, eyebrows up. Love that. No back torso printing, which is to be expected. I love this minifigure. He looks great. And it's really nice to get all these parts here because all of them are incredibly rare and exclusive. This is Bobby, and he's the head design guy, and he also is my favorite minifigure in the entirety of the set. That's only because of his torso print, which I can use for my sig fig. So I know I obsessed about getting that banana print a while ago to use for my sig fig. This is perfect because it's also a Hawaiian shirt with short sleeves, dual molded with printing, which is just the coolest thing in the world, by the way. And it's in the flesh tone that I use for my actual sig figure. So if I ever wanted to switch my coloring from yellow to this nougat color, I have the perfect torso for that now as well. Very nice pants color. I don't often see that orangey color in pants. Really cool. And he's got a very nice facial print there. Very reminiscent of Thor, honestly. Some really nice uh, facial hair. Very cool spiky hair piece as well. On the back, he's got a much more expressive, happy, smiling face. And I just love the printing on that torso. Front, back, arms, just a gorgeous, gorgeous print. And it's even got like the buttoned collar designs as well with a bit of neck print showing. Just a perfect torso and a perfect minifigure probably butchering his name but here is caramo and i love the look of this figure first off that jacket in pink is such a cool piece and it's really nice to get more people of color uh torso prints and everything and i just love that bright pink color there's a little bit of detailing on the back this character does not have an alternate facial expression because it will be showing from his hat and if you take off the hat this is actually the new facial print that will be used for the t'challa minifigure if that mech set ever does actually end up coming out plain black legs not too much going on for this figure the torso print is much simpler than the last one we looked at which is nice because it's really good to always have just like a simple jacket piece and i just love his facial expression too it's really nice and it'll work really well for the black panther figure should we ever get that minifigure 
The last of the Fab Five is going to be Antony here, and apparently his role is food and wine. Man, I wish I had that job. I love the look of this minifigure. He's got some really nice detailed parts here. First off, he's got this wonderful dog show trainer piece recast in the darker color here, which um, came in Jacob Kowalski, but it's also the piece I use for my Doctor Strange, evil Doctor Strange custom minifigure. So it's nice to have more options to steal it from here in case I want my Harry Potter sets to remain complete. The minifigure has white and tan dual molded arms, which is always really nice to get. He's got a plain white torso print with an ascot tied around or a bandana tied around. You can see that printed on both sides. He's got some excellent dual molded jean shorts with it looks like some really nice fancy looking sneakers with printing blue lines and then that pink line as well or is that orange I can't tell character looks great love that uh, facial print as well he's got some stubble going on a nice smile and then on the other side when you spin that around mouth is closed he looks a little more forlorn kind of you know, mellow and everything a really great facial print and a really great pants design absolutely love his legs there those jeans Oh, so cool. Really looking forward to being able to make some customs out of this character. And the final two minifigures in the set, actually the same person. Here we have the before and after for the special guest star, Kathy Dooley. Very interesting. Don't know who she is. I guess she was a star in the show at some point. And so the whole point here is that the Fab Five do a makeover and they change the uh, they change the person from looking one way to another. And that's what we got here. So it's the same minifigure, just with an altered hairstyle. First off, the first hairstyle, I don't know what hair piece that is. I don't think I've ever seen it before, so it might be exclusive. Got a very nice blue torso print there. Really unique, different kinds of patterns of fabric and cloth, and along with a really cool necklace and a very nice facial expression. On this side, I love that tan jacket. I could use that for a ton of custom minifigures. We have a very nice kind of smiling face with slightly larger glasses, and then the Ron Weasley hair piece. On the back, let's pull off both those hair pieces so you can see the alternate facial expression. And surprise, surprise, it's the exact same face, uh, just different sides. So only one facial print shared, only one face between the two characters. But also, I love the back of the blue uh, the blue shirt there i don't know how well you can see it but there's truly some unique designs and decals there and then there's not too much um to say about the other torso mostly just the uh, usual wrinkle lines that you'd expect on a minifigure like this great character i love how they did the before and after and this actually incorporates into a play feature that i'll show you a little bit later now, while there are no more minifigures included in the set, that doesn't mean there aren't any more minifigure parts. There are two more pairs of pants and three more types of headgear included. I'll show you those a bit later. But we also have three brand new exclusive torso prints. The top one is a very nice black jacket. It's got a really cool, uh, some really cool printing and patches on it. And then the middle one, my favorite, is a rainbow love is love shirt. I am so happy. I I cannot tell you how happy it makes me that we have a Love is Love shirt print in Lego form. I actually need to get me one of those in real life as well. And then on the bottom, we have yet another Hawaiian shirt. This time it's a Hawaiian jacket, full sleeve, printed gorgeously. Look at the printing on that arm. Oh my goodness. And then on the back, we got the continuation of the uh, printing for that Hawaiian print. Love the flowers. For the Love is Love, it's really plain, nothing too special. And then we have a Rebuild the World logo on the back of the biker jacket. Looks great. Love the fact that they just said yeah, why don't we include extra torsos? Why the heck not? And there's some really great detailed ones, even better than some of the ones they included for the actual characters of the set. And finally, the last thing included in the set is going to be this very nice dog. Unfortunately, on the box, it does say in loving memory of Bruley, so I believe this dog did pass away, which is very sad, but it's the traditional pit bull piece. Nothing too special there. While I have you, though, real quick, some of the characters did come with accessories. There was this iPhone included, which looks great, a very nice, unique print. And then we have a pair of scissors and a hairbrush as well included, some pretty basic accessories. But that about sums it up for all the minifigures. So now, finally, the build of the set. Before taking a look at the main build of the set, there are two technically side builds that I'd like to look at. The first of which is going to be this amazing television. It's got a wonderful sticker. The sticker was a pain to put on though, just so you know, of the Fab Five group with the logo Queer Eye there and another another plant. And there's, uh, I guess it's supposed to be a cabinet, but there's nothing inside it. It's a really great looking television. My only gripe with it is that it doesn't fit anywhere in the set. Unlike this piece, which is so cool. This is a removable carpet area. I love the prints, but these are prints, not stickers, for the carpet. I should better look at them. And these look so great. And then there's also a removable coffee table. And I just love the plastic, the glass here. And it's just a window piece. Just flipped on its side to make a coffee table. And it's so accurate. There's also a book right here, which just has a little sticker inside. I don't really know what it's supposed to be. There's no details. It's just pictures and lines. There's also a laptop with a sticker on the interior. And it looks like just another picture of the apartment that can just go on the coffee table. There's a really awkward chair right here. I hate this chair because a minifigure cannot actually sit in it. 
and take this chap right here he'll just he'll, like there's no studs and he'll just like slip right out of it it's not the best and it, it connects really weirdly on this piece as well and moving all that out of the way we have an amazing couch build some really great stickers there and you can set a ton of people on this couch but perhaps the best part of the set in my opinion is going to be this amazing lamp build which we can use for pixar too and it's just such a cute and genius way to make a lamp, and I love the way that looks. It's literally perfect, in my opinion. This couch is just great. It's one of my favorite parts. I love how there's this removable section, and you have enough space here to fit, like, the entirety of the Fab Five group on, so you can have just, like, this mini display model or the full loft display model as well, and the TV kind of pairs really well with this. They can all sit on the couch and, you know, watch some television, make it a nice homely entertainment event. This is so cool. But with this out of the way, let's clear this out and move on to the actual build of the set, the amazing apartment. I don't even know where, where to really start with, with the build. There's so much to look at, and it's just all amazing. Over in this corner, we have a print here that says style, taste, class. I'm really glad that was a print because I would have had an absolute nightmare of a time putting that sticker on. There's a potted plant right here, which is really cool. It's built in a very uh, unique way. There's a pot right there. You put this over it doesn't actually connect any studs then you put the plant in place which actually anchors it so that's really cool there's another plant right here along with a china cupboard this plant is in the way so let's open that up in there you have a cup a minifigure a goblet and another cup along with a very nice detail detailed door piece there's no glass in here that's a dual molded part with a room for a stud handle honestly it looks really great love that we're going to remove the plant for now because it's taking up way too much space uh the center section here we looked at already because it does lift off, so I'm going to remove that for the remainder of the review just so we have some more space to kind of see the background. Before we go into the back section, let's look at the slightly more accessible section, which is the style area. There is a very nice spinning doctor, uh, doctor, excuse me, barber chair right here uh, for the makeovers to happen. Minifigure can sit on that. It's kind of difficult to get a minifigure on and off without breaking it because it does only attach with that one stud right there. So it's not the sturdiest, but it does work very well. There's a little shelf right here with some cosmetic stuff. There's some more cosmetics underneath the mirror. Not sure exactly what those are, but they do exist. There's also a really cool sticker there for a mirror, and that does actually reflect. You can see... Um, maybe if I can get it to, ah, yeah, there we go. Whee! It's really, really cool. It's like a perfect mirror. Uh, it's very rare. I see a cool sticker like that. And I really love that. Here is the clothing rack. There's some drawers underneath it that do not open. And then there are all the shirts we already took a look at. There's also some satchels right there. And then a cool part of the set is that behind it, we actually have a little extra uh, location spot. Here's some replacement hair pieces for any of the minifigures, as well as a different uh, hat. There's also a purse and a broom along with two different pairs of jeans. And then this right here is a fascinatingly neat play feature. I'm going to take it up real quick. And so when you pull this off, you can actually see the inner workings. There's a minifigure standing right there. And so the point of this is, let's open the door in the back. You take the minifigure prior to their remodeling and stick them in there. Close it up. So here's that's supposed to work. You open the door, there's a minifigure in there, and then you spin that gear that we saw in the back. Rotates really well, and then the new minifigure can walk out all new and improved. It's an interesting play feature. Uh, it's really nice because it's very, very well hidden and you can completely ignore its existence if you want, like me. But if you really want to, there you go. You can change the minifigure's clothes. It's um, like the Batcave, uh, Batman's transition, but, you know, slightly more crappier. Here we have two really nice plants. I really like that. And then moving in here, we're going to do a little fancy thing called moving the camera. We got three really cool bar stool chairs along with Probably the best kitchen I've ever seen. This whole section does get removed really well, uh, really easily. And that gives us much better look at the actual kitchen. Here we have the fridge and freezer. There's three stickers in there. One for, it looks like, orange juice, oat milk, and then something in the freezer. Not sure what. And that closes really well. And that's the fridge. There's also a coffee maker with a sticker on it, a shelf with another plant, and then a bottle of soap and some other stuff there, just miscellaneous kitchenware. We have a Yas Queen sticker poster, which is probably my favorite Lego sticker of all time. We have a very nice windowsill there with yet more plants. I don't know if they really do have a fascination with plants like that, but I guess these guys do. And then over here, it says ideas. And then it's a very nice detailed sticker, which just has some ideas, a layout of the apartment, and then some stuff for them to 
you know, make more furniture, design more stuff. Not sure exactly what's going on there. I do believe that marker is supposed to be used to write on that board. Although it's a lipstick piece, it could be a light. I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to represent. That about sums it up for the basic build here. We do also have, I forgot to mention, another sticker there. The Fab Five Lost, the Fabulous. So that's really, really neat. I'm just incredibly impressed by how clean and crisp this looks. Not only are there so many fun details and stickers, um, there's also this stove, which I forgot to mention. That's a sticker. Those are prints. Those can be used for a ton of different things as well. Speakers. Avocados are a print. And then there's an empty paper towel tube there. So cute. And then just some other miscellaneous bottles. And that just kind of gets put back right there. These bar stools, there we go, do spin slightly. They rotate. And that's just fascinating to me. I love this set. The design for the bricks in the back, the white is so clean. I love how that forms. There's like the gray bricks too, and they kind of mend seamlessly. It's so nice. I especially love right here. You can see how they kind of alternate between the gray and the white. And the fact that you can remove the entirety of this middle section and then just replace it is so clever. And I really do like that. Before I gush too much about this set, let's move on to the box and the manual real quick. And then we'll bounce back for what actually will be my final verdict. The box for this set is actually not at all what I was expecting. Since it's an 18 plus set, I figured they'd go with the traditional 18 plus branding, do a black box of the set on it, but instead they went for this very clean and crisp white box, which I honestly really, really like. We still have the black greebling on the bottom with the set information, and then a very nice Lego logo in the bottom corner as opposed to the top. We got the Queer Eye logo there, the mini figures, and then just a really nice spread of the set. The characters are all pictured on the top in a very nice frame there. And then on the back of the box, we have the apartment with all the characters in it, their real life counterparts versus the minifigures. And then in loving memory of Bruley, I don't know who Bruley is, but I guess it must've been the dog that passed away at some point. Then we have some pictures of different play features of the set, which I showed you earlier. Not too much else for this box. It's a pretty simple one. Still pretty cool though, all things considered. Not at all was what I was expecting. And still just like, I love the white. I'm really glad they didn't go with black for this because I think it would have blended in too well with some of the parts of the set. It pops really well against the white background. Here's the instruction manual, and this thing is truly a work of art. We have all five of the Fab Five in their actual real-life versions on top, and then on the other underside, we have all of the minifigure versions. Looks great, love that. They're also super accurate. Like, I didn't know what these guys actually looked like in real life, and I'd say LEGO did a really, really good job on capturing their likenesses. On the inside, we have this amazing thing, uh, Style Taste Class, and then the Fab Five. Oh, this is so cool. And then there's a little look that says Queer Eye, more than a makeover. If you want to read that, you guys can. And then moving on, we have a little bit of information about each of the designers, it looks like. Um, the designer, excuse me, each of the uh, actual people who are in this set. We have Tan France, Antony Pro, I don't know how to pronounce that. And it'll just go through for every one of the characters, including a little bit of invitation about the special guest star as well. And it also just has some pictures of actual clips from the show, which is great. Really love that collage. Oh, Wait, here we go. Brudley was the lovable French bulldog from seasons three through four. Passed away in 2019. Gotcha. So that, that explains the uh, Brudley thing. Oh, I love, I wish we'd gotten that piece uh, in Lego. That would have been so cool. And then moving on, we have some stuff about the uh, designer here. Um, Ash, uh, the Matthew right there. So cool. Thank you so much for your amazing set. And also it looks like uh, Bobby, the one, the one, ah, this one. He actually played with Lego when he was a kid, too, so that's really, really cool as well. And moving on, we have some more information about the set itself. This is a really amazingly detailed, also, by colors, a really detailed manual. Then it's just how to use a brick separator. We have the Queer Eye logo on the back, the parts list, and then nothing else. Although, ooh... A quote from Bobby, I'm so happy with the finished set. I think we have really managed to capture the essence of everything in our original loft. That's so cool that they had like the actual character, like I say character, um, actor from the show kind of help. And they have like quotes from all of them in this too. It was a really interesting build. And I love they actual like had so much input from the actual Fab Five to make this set. So cool. And this is honestly one of my favorite instruction manuals so far. The Queer Eye Fab Five loft set is easily one of my favorite lego sets of all time this is one of the greatest sets i have ever had the fortune to look at not only because does it mean more representation for the lgbtqia plus community but it's also the greatest apartment set i've ever seen i have never been interested in the apartment sets the friends ones the uh the central park cafe i'm talking about the seinfeld set um new upcoming office set. like none of the kind of sitcom tv show style sets i've been interested in but this one is just so great I'm a sucker for a good kitchen, and that kitchenette is probably the best that LEGO has ever made. There are so many amazing stickers and minifigure parts here, and this is honestly my dream set. 
just for the parts alone. And the model itself is so clean looking. I absolutely love the brick designs and everything included just tickles my fancy in a way that I did not think was possible. This is easily one of the best Lego sets on the market currently. If you do not have it, I would highly recommend it. If you didn't know this already, I'm going to rate this a solid 11 out of 10 because there's no way I can. It's literally a perfect set. I have zero flaws with it. Uh, they did everything right, in my opinion. There's not a single part of this build that I'm like, eh, don't really like that. And there's nothing I think is missing. Now, personally, I've never watched the show. My only experience with these characters or these actual people, I guess, has been in the Big Mouth TV show where they uh, cameo. It's a great TV show. If you're over 18, I would highly recommend it. But that being said, guys, get this set. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic and safe rest of your day. I'll catch you all in the very next video.